All right, let's have a quick overview of the menu. The menu isn't quick to parody the rich and their ineptitude and isn't uttering a word new yet that most certainly doesn't keep it from being an extraordinary parody that makes fun of all that it can in manners that are frequently reliably entertaining, lively and very sleek. Rafe Fines gives a fabulous presentation loaded with off-kilter disquiet that main upgrades his directing screen presence. Anya Taylor's satisfaction is an ideal crowd proxy among an ocean of intentionally unlikable characters of which the best is Nicholas Holt who's excessively great at making his personality humorously despicable. Mark Mylod's course is astounding, the film has a sizable amount of visual style to match the vainglory of its characters and is great at building strain. The music by Colin Stetson is fabulous, finding some kind of harmony among wonderful and alarming. What really stuck with me long after the credits have rolled is the commentary this film has on society. At its core I believe this film to be about a chef whose long career facing multitudes of people both customers and critics has affected his passion for his art. It's here where I also believe to be the filmmaker's commentary on what it is to be an artist in this film's case a chef. It felt to me what the filmmakers are saying is as artists they pour their heart and souls into their art and craft both to serve and entertain us and as consumers it's very easy to lose appreciation for that hard work and effort. The menu starts out slow, but when it picks up it really gets going. Nicholas Holt and Anna Taylor-Joy are great to watch, and so is the rest of the cast, all pretty much shine in their way. But it's Rafe Fiennes who pretty much takes the movie with his creepiness, you the audience are pretty much on alert whenever he's on camera. There are a lot of surprises you won't see coming. Check out the menu if you are in the mood for a good thriller. The menu was also nominated for two big awards in 2022. Hollywood Music and Media Awards and Leiden International Film Festival.